Hello, everybody that is joining us on YouTube. This is, I am Mary Kay Jolly and I'm painting nasturtiums today. And I'm very happy that you are able to watch this on YouTube and join this uh, Zoom class, which I love having here. Today, we're gonna to be painting these nasturtiums. This is my demonstration painting that I, that I did. I'm gonna to try to change the colors. I'm gonna try and do a little bit more red and less uh, French ultramarine blue around the centers. I like this painting because it's kind of loose and free. And because I spent so much of my summer being so tight with that 50-50 that I'm really enjoying just loosening up a little bit. This is my sample painting. This is a photograph that I took on Monday. I cropped it down to three nasturtiums. Uh, on, the, yeah, on the email that I sent to the class, there's another one that has five or six or seven. So this is a picture that I printed off on my computer. And what I did was I used non-water soluble graphite and I traced the outline of the nasturtiums and most of the leaves with a pencil and it showed up like that on my piece of paper. Then what I did was I took this little thing here and I put a couple drops of PBO in there and then I used the edge of my credit card and I just put these little marks where the stamen of the nasturtiums are. And you really don't ever even see the, the stamen of the nasturtiums and, unless you get really, really close to it. So that was my prep work and my PBO is all dry. So I am ready to paint. The water, the paper towel. I'll put this picture here, so it is on screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is just pretty much paint the whole thing with pansy yellow medium. Well, actually, the first thing I'm going to do is just wet it. And the reason that I used non-water soluble graphite is because as soon as I would wet it, all the lines would disappear on this very first step. So I want these to stay put. And the reason that I used PBO on the stamen was because they're so nice and yellow that if I use the PBO, it'll lift up the lines when I rub it off with the pickup and I'll be able to I'll paint that yellow in and they'll be nice and bright. So there, my paper's all wet. I'm gonna dry my edges with paper towel so that doesn't get water that seeps back in later. And I'm gonna start with a yellow wash. So I squished out yellow paint this morning so as soon as I dipped my brush in there, I got a ton of nice paint. Add just a quarter of a brush stroke of water to that. My paper's wet and my paint's wet. So I'm going to start. There's a dry leaf there and there's a kind of a bud there. And I'm going to put this all over these flowers. Just like that, just loose like that. Now I'm going to take my more yellow and I'm gonna add, <laughs> funny I washed out my brush, permanent rose and add it to that yellow petal and make my orange. So hands a yellow medium or bumblebee, exact same pigment, and permanent rose 
in my opinion, make the very best orange. Much better than any orange you can buy. Now what I'm going to do is add these, this orange over these petals, over the nasturtium petals. And if it bleeds out, it's okay with me because I am just painting a loose painting and I'm going to go back in and do uh, negatives around it. I like this guy right here, this nasturtium. First, I didn't even really see what it was doing, but what it has is, is it has a petal that's in front of this one. And it has a, you can see the back of it with its little, I don't know what it's called, what part of the flower that's called, where the nectar is, where you can, And there's some out here, some up here. I'm just gonna put those in. Still damp, so hopefully it's gonna blend, bleed a little bit. While that's, while this is wet, I'm going to make, I used a <laughs> French ultramarine blue, but since my family didn't think that looked good, I'm going to try something different today, right now. <laughs> my husband's saying I'm blaming it on them, which, which I am. But I, but I am responsible for my own behavior and decisions. Now that is nicer, I have to say. They probably have a point. Okay, so what I did was I just made a little bit of purple with... permanent rose and French ultramarine blue. And I'm gonna add that in in the areas that I see the shadows, which is quite a few areas. And it's gonna bleed a little bit and I'm just gonna let it be soft. I'm gonna put a little bit in here, just not as dark as it was before because Claire told me it looked like a Lorax cave. So that's, that's a very loose wash. What I'm going to do now is mute mine and dry it with my blow dryer. The next step I'm going to do is to go around and paint in the leaves on the outside. I'm going to start that with a green with uh, that I make myself from my yellow 
and Antwerp. It almost looks like uh, Rombacher Thalo yellow. So I'm going to start with a yellow, a pretty yellow green and a lot of water. And I just want to paint all around these orange petals. And here. I'm following. This will be my first layer. So I'm doing a light green layer first. And I'm painting around the edges of my orange petals. Great place to sign my name right there. And I can kind of stop because I think I have a little break. Here's my signer. And I'm going to continue right around. Making more paint. Got greener or darker green. That's okay. I like that little pod that hasn't opened up yet. A big leaf, a big orange leaf. And then the green goes in there. Around that. Keep going. Being brave. And there's a yellow leaf here. One last little spot I missed up here. So that is the next layer. But I'm just putting in with that big brush. Now I'm going to take my number 10, my round 10, and make darker green. So I'm going to use Antwerp blue and burnt sienna. I squished those out today too, so I should be getting a nice quick mix of it. It's pretty dry. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to put in the dark green that I see. So I definitely see a big dark green leaf here. So this is where the painting around the orange nasturtium
really makes it pop out. go in really dark right next to it and let it kind of fade out over here. Now there's some wood chips. I think I'm just going to leave the wood chips out and just make it green to the edge. There's this one here is a dark leaf. Over here is dark. There's a little triangle that's showing up right in here to show that that leaf can see through it. There's some of those triangles in here. That softened. This corner is nice and dark. Making more green, same two colors. This keeps fading and fading. Just want to kind of get sloppy and loose. And not worry about every little detail so much. Here's one little trick I do want to show you coming up here. Oh, it's really dark right in here too. Oh, this is important. So if I take some sort of scrapey, something I can scrape with, either the bevel edge of my 995 brush or my signer, I think I can kind of lift out if it's the right wetness, if the paint has the amount, right amount of water. I can pretend this leaf here. I'm gonna try it. Nope, it went dark. I don't know if you can see what just happened. It's not quite dry enough yet. When it gets a little bit dry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in. When the paint, the paint gets dry enough and I go like that, it's going to lift and make a white line, not a dark line. So the timing is important on that. So when it's too wet, I make my scratch and the paint goes and settles in the scratch makes it darker. When it's a little bit drier, I scratch it and the paint lifts up. That's what I want to do because there are white lines in those leaves. So um, when this gets a little bit drier, I'll go back and do that. While the leaves are, are drying, I think I will play with this one a little bit because it's got some 
different, it's got light green, which is just uh, a little bit of Antwerp and yellow. Just gonna put a few different colors. It looks like it's in the shadow right there and the shadow's kind of brown. So I'm gonna use burnt sienna there, pure burnt sienna on this part of the sleeve. And I'm using the belly of the brush. The light's catching in a couple spots, so I'll leave those. Right next to this edge of the nasturtium, I'm going to go in with a little bit more burnt sienna. Wow! And maybe even the tiniest bit of French ultramarine blue into it to get it a little darker. And I'm going to kind of make a little bit of a disappearing edge so this nasturtium really, the edge of the leaf pops out more. Now I'm going to, I wet my, I dried my brush or I got it clean and I'm just going to paint with water on the edge of that. And a little bit up here and make a little messy so that it feels like, oh, it's a messy old dried out leaf. I'm going to play with this little bud over here, put a line down it. with a little water, uh, put a little bit of burnt sienna on it also, give it a little shadow, a little shape, and paint with a little water and leave it alone too. Now I'm going to go back in to, let's, well, I'm going to check and see if this will lift yet. Okay. Okay, it's just ready to lift. So now I'm going to make the shape of the, the like the starburst kind of from this leaf by scraping it. I didn't do a very good scrape. Let me try this. Oh, there we go. That's a big leaf now. <laughs> Maybe too big a scrape. Whoops. It looks like, a, I don't know. I'm going to do some here now. So these are starting from a center spot and then going out. So those are two leaves with those. I could put a few right here. I don't want to overdo this too much and I don't want to kind of want to suggest those. Put a dot right there. It's not going away soon. Okay, next step is I'm going to put some of these shadows in. I'm going to put them in more defined now. So that same color, which was permanent rose and a tiny bit of French ultramarine blue. And if you want to spend a lot of time, you could really go in and really put these shadows in nice and neat from the drawing, but I am not in that kind of mood today. So I'm just going to put the, a few feels of a few shadows in here. You can be as detailed as you want to be. Permanent rose again, French ultramarine blue. <laughs> there we go. And there's some color in here. I especially want to have it next to the PBO, a little bit darker where the PBO is, so that when I pull that PBO off. It, sh it shows up, it becomes more of a center, a center of interest. This here, OK. 
could start going that way. And then there's kind of a line and then it gets on this side. So that filling in that cone right there made this one leaf pop out. But now I do want a few more shadows on it. This one is one of the brightest leaves. I can see now I made that a leaf instead of the, or the petal instead of the leaf. I can change that. Or maybe I'll just leave it. This one here has some shadow. Some shadow here. Here's a nice shadow. Okay, over here. Nice shadow. Shadow. I made some more paint. Hopefully I've got about the same color. I kind of want to stop on that part of it and just let it be loose like that. So I'm going to do the last two steps. Well, actually, now that I think about it, there's, I am going to do one more thing. I don't, I, this right here where I'm pointing is a leaf, not the petal. And I think I'm going to change that shape or go actually put the leaf in. Put it right in over that. because I do like the, the shape of this, this thing here. Yeah, I like that better. Uh, I, could, I could put in more leaves and more shape, but I'm gonna leave it like that. Right now I'm gonna mute it and, and dry it. So there's just this another minute or two left. So I use my pickup. I'm gonna pick up the PBO. Painting has to be dry when you do this. There's the stamen. And the very last step is to just go in and paint those yellow. Maybe not perfectly yellow, but sort of an orangey yellow. 
And I'm just gonna If you've painted with any other yellows in your watercolor career, you'll never find one that's more transparent than this one. So I can just sort of slop it on. And I like a couple of the little white highlights showing up in there. So there I go. I think I'm just gonna quit. Just like, like that, then leave it alone. We have a little bit of a bad uh, internet connection because we're here on the, the coast. And also, we think uh, Zoom is a little bit overwhelmed also. And I see some brush strokes going. <laughs> if there's anyone that would like to share, I would love to see them. Well, I haven't. I'm not done, but um, I haven't got my dark greens in yet. I added ink because it's Inktober. Very good. So, um, it's, so the darks aren't in yet. Yeah, it's a beautiful so start. I'm glad you're you're killing two birds with one stone today, Chris. <laughs> I I would have too if I didn't have this class. But it worked out because prepping for the class, I got my Inktober in already too. Yeah. Can you hold it up, Chris. Sure. Oh, beautiful. Oh, nice. That looks good. Mine's not finished, but it's and it's kind of a mess, but I'll show you anyway. Oh, I like it messy. I think it's beautiful. I'll have to do the stamens and finish it, but it almost looks like it's on Upo paper. No, it's on the back side of something that I didn't like. <laughs> oh, when I used to teach uh, elementary school, I would use the back side of my paintings, and then the kids would get their painting and they'd look on the other side and there'd be, you know, part of a painting on it. <laughs> that would take like five minutes to calm that down. <laughs> hey, Doris. <laughs> I need lip reading with you because you're. Oh, oh no, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being the Klimt. All right. Uh, start video again. All right. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Very nice. I, I love how you're doing your shadows and your highlights. Just you know, I ended up putting uh, way too much PBO in, so I was having to go back and adding the dark stuff in the center, and mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and I I had to go away to do some drying while you were doing your thing, so I came back, didn't know what you were using, and I used some burnt scarlet that was in my um, uh, on my palette already to do the dark. Good, it part. looks good. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Penny, Penny, that's a nice little one. Wow, yeah, Penny. Very nice, Penny. I like the bud. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. My eye's going right to that center green, and it looks like an angel or a fairy. <laughs> Maybe it's pretty. too dark, I think. Yeah, I probably would lift it up a little bit darker than anything else so yeah, yeah. oops where am i or you can just call it fairy and let that be the center of attention <laughs> fairy <laughs> among the nasturtiums oh my doorbell just rang 
<laughs> Vicki or, or I, Danny, did you paint? I didn't get a chance. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of just, well, yes. Well, then I think we're good. So the rest of you are going to paint. Let me right. say goodbye to all the YouTube people. Bye, YouTube people. <laughs>